guys, today is Wednesday. I hope every Wednesday is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. All right, so today I am coming in to share with you the items that I did not hate for the month of April. So let's get started. A few videos ago, I kind of chatted with you guys about the fact that we had to furlough our housekeepers. Many, many, many of you chimed in in the comments and said that you actually had to do the same thing. We have not brought them back on yet. We are thinking June, possibly. Even though I think for the most part, everything is actually back up and running here in Atlanta, even though you know a lot of us, my family included, are actually kind of being very particular on the places that we venture out to. Again, I think businesses, however, are up and running. So we're thinking possibly June. You guys will have to let me know. Those of you who said that you'd actually furlough your housekeepers, please drop a line down in the comments and let me know when you are actually going to start bringing yours back. So with that, I told you guys that we were having to do a lot more uh, cleaning around the house. And um, you guys also know that many, many moons ago, I could not post a video that had to do with the home without mentioning Fabuloso. All right, so this is the refreshing lemon Fabuloso that Eric picked up uh, maybe two weeks ago from the Dollar Tree. I had never smelled it, but it smells amazing. You, all, you guys know you only need a little bit of uh, uh, Fabuloso. I do not put this in the dishwasher, not in, my, not in the dishwasher. I do not put this in my dish water. Sometimes if the dishwater dishwasher is actually full, the remaining dishes I will actually wash by hand. And so I like for my senses to be engaged while I am, you know, washing dishes. I want to, you know, if I have to do the chore, I want to kind of enjoy it, okay? So um, back in the day, I would put the Fabuloso in the dishwasher. Not, why do I keep saying the dishwasher? I put it in the dishwasher dish water i would put it in the dish water guys and so when the dish is dried let's say i drink a cup of water or whatever it would taste like the fabuloso so i actually stopped doing that but if i am cleaning down the countertops or whatever what i like to do is run a nice hot soapy sink of water i'll put a few drops of this in there and it smells amazing it permeates the entire uh, level here of the house and it just smells so wonderful uh, a scent that I um, would purchase regularly a scent that the housekeepers use is actually lavender maybe lavender is that scent that is a little bit more universal or you know more widely available in the Dollar Tree but this one right here you gotta pick this one up. If you come across the refreshing lemon scent that's the name of it in your Dollar Tree do yourself a favor and pick this up. So this is the first thing that I have not, not liked for the month of April. I also want to give a shout out to everyone who left a comment. I think it was the last video regarding vacations that you have had to put on hold due to everything. Many of you were going on cruises. Many of you were taking girl trips. Many of you, to my surprise, we're actually going to Disney World. Um, so, 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 so very sad to hear that. A lot of you were saying it was your first trip. It was an anniversary trip. You were taking your kids for the first time. Man, that sucks. But hopefully soon we will be able to embark on our happy place once more. And so in honor of that, I am bringing out my Mickey mug. Guys, I forgot I had this mug. I want to say I got this on our last trip to Disney. Not really sure. But this mug has never been used and I was able to. I don't want to tilt it over because I have coffee in it. But the sticker on the bottom has not even been removed. So this was a brand new mug, but I'm enjoying my coffee in it today. Um, of course, coffee is one of the things I like or did not not like every month. I always have to have my coffee. Uh, let me take a quick sip here. But the reason I, and I forgot to take my braces off, so I probably have coffee in my braces now. Um, but the reason I am talking about coffee is because a milk 
frother guys this has been giving me so much freaking life you guys know a few videos ago I shared with you a frother that a company sent to me and yes that handheld frother is it's amazing okay but if the handheld frother is amazing well this one right here that you just sit you just sit it on this base right here plug it in it's doubly amazing all right so I ordered this guy from Amazon because you know and I think I've said this before if you're going to drink coffee every day of course you want you know a really special mug to drink your coffee out of and then also you want to get that Starbucks type feel in your coffee also and make it really pretty so I ordered this frother from Amazon guys so all you have to do is you take your base, you sit your frother pitcher here on top, you add in your milk. If you get this one right here, I will absolutely leave the link below. You want to be very cognizant of the little demarcation, little line indicators here. It tells you, you know, your minimum and your max amount of milk to place in here. Push, push the blue button. You can have a warm froth or a cold froth. That's what I love. I have been using the warm froth and guys, it just froths up just the fluffiest, just the most gorgeous peaks of froth ever. I just love this thing so much. It's easy to clean. You don't want to put it in the dishwasher. You just rinse it out. It actually comes with several of these little whisks here, just in case you misplace one. But it is just the cutest little milk frother. I will say that it does not work as well with your lighter milks. You will have to use whole milk with this, but you're only using just a little bit. And if you're not gonna put cream in your coffee, it actually takes the place of the calories that are going to be in your creamer. So yeah. I am absolutely loving my milk frother or did love it for the month of April and it's of course going to go with me into the month of May. Keeping in line with the whole coffee theme, my next item that I really, really enjoyed for the month of April has been oat milk. Oat milk is all the rage right now for those of us who tend to experience just a wee bit of bloat when we indulge in, you know, the regular milk. Now, I don't have an issue with milk unless I go over eight ounces. And the great thing about the milk frother is it's, it's not, this one in particular, it's not really gonna hold eight ounces of milk, so I'm okay. But then there are those occasions where, you know, I would like to have the occasional healthy bowl of cereal. Um, and when I do that for about two days, I feel like I have swallowed a whale, all right? Insert oat milk. Oat milk has no dairy. It's really light. Um, you can see it does have like a darker vanilla-ish color. And I quite honestly am very pleased with the flavor of it. It doesn't taste like oatmeal or <laughs> anything like that. It's just a really clean, um, light taste, and I honestly like this bit better than um, almond milk. To me, almond milk doesn't taste good in cereal. Almond milk is great in your coffees or your smoothies or anything like that, but for me, I don't really like the taste of almond milk in cereal, and the oat milk has, you know, really been, you know, quite tasty in both my cereal as well as my coffee. Now, there are quite a few oat milks on the market right now. The one that I have been enjoying for the month of April has been the Planet, P-L-A-N-E-T, Planet Oat Milk, all right? And this one, let's read some of the things that it touts, all right? Great by the glass, I can attest to that. Great in oatmeal and cereal, like I said, of course, in your coffee, plenty of calcium, vitamins A, vitamin D. Um, oats pack a lot of punch for you know a small package you know uh oat milk is great again for well i don't know did you guys know that oat milk is great for for uh providing a little bit of fiber and of course protein all right so yeah 
this is the one that I have been enjoying for the month of April. Like I said, there are quite a few other varieties on the market, but this is the one that is always available in my local Kroger. Uh, there are some other brands, I think the container is a little bit different from this one. However, some days uh, when we go to the grocery store, they'll have that one. Some weeks when we go, they uh, they won't. So, but this one has always been constant in there. And like I said, I have really, really, really been enjoying this oat milk. I am absolutely sure my family is not unique when I say that we have been spending a lot of time together these past weeks, months, um, and you know what? I'm not complaining about it. Eric, Chase, and I, as you guys know, in the past, we we were always home together. I was a stay-at-home mom. Eric worked from home, and for quite a while, we actually homeschooled Chase. And um, this whole thing that has happened has really thrusted us back into, um, you know, what we were doing some years ago. And I have to say, it's been quite enjoyable. Although there are those days where I wanna venture out and do some other things with some other people, but I love hanging out with Eric and Chase. And I have come to you and told you guys before that we have been doing movie nights and game nights. All right, now, our favorite, well, I'll say my favorite little treat for movie night and also game night, among other things, has been popcorn all right now we have a popcorn machine upstairs that popcorn machine requires a lot of lubrication in the way of butter having butter two three times a night like that in this size with popcorn can um and it has been a little bit detrimental to my waistline but we are trying to get that under control and so what i have been enjoying lately to get said waistline and my uh love for popcorn while we we're playing uh you know playing games or enjoying movie night has been skinny pop like you can see it's 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 been open all right the variety that i have been enjoying as of late has been the one with a little lime and it's actually called twist of lime now the guys here in the house don't understand why i would want lime flavoring on my popcorn but think about it if you go to some of the mexican restaurants they have the tortilla chips that have a little bit of lime on them it's not overpowering it's not overbearing and you don't feel like you're eating a slice of you know key lime pie without the sugar it's not overly bitter it's just the right amount just a twist just a twist of lime so i have really been enjoying this i don't miss the butter as you guys know skinny pop has 50 calories per cup now i'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and say that i only get one cup of this during the movie i'll put about two two and a half cups of it here in this little container which we actually picked up from the dollar tree many years ago and it just makes movie night so enjoyable and also when i'm playing games with the guys upstairs in the theater room i can sit my little container in my lap and in between games you know you know i can shove a few kernels of popcorn in my in my mouth but Skinny Pop has quite a few flavors. Of course, just your basic butter. Uh, they have cheddar, and they also have the sweet kettle corn, which I like also, but I just love that I'm able to break up the monotony of the popcorn, and you know, still be a little bit, um, because overall, I think popcorn is a, is, is a healthy snack, snack as snacks go. So, yeah, you just pick this up at your local Kroger. Been enjoying this for the month of May. All right, so the next item that I have been thoroughly enjoying for the month of May, it has made cleaning all the hardwoods and the carpet, I should say, so much easier. All right, it is my, let's see if I can get him to turn on. Let's see, I got my remote here. You see him down there? The robot vacuum cleaner he you just turn him on and he just goes on and he does his job you know he minds his business 
he has been cleaning the house for a while now so he know what areas to go into well let me take that back sometimes i do have to put up the baby gate um, because there are some rugs that he'll roll into and yes he's a he that he'll roll into and it's look the carpet in that area there's some rugs that we have that are a little bit too high for him so he'll get stuck and then he'll start beeping but other than that he has really been helping out a lot he goes does his job like i said and guys he will even go and get back on the charger all right so he has just been amazing um i can't say that i actually paid for the uh, robot vacuum cleaner myself it was actually sent to me as part of some sponsored content um but I am enjoying it. Um, so if you are in the market to replace a vacuum cleaner, to uh, replace an appliance, I know Mother's Day will be here soon and you're trying to think of, you know, something for your family to get for you, you may want to, you know, drop a few hints and let them know that a robot vacuum cleaner would be absolutely amazing. Next items that I have really, 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 really been enjoying for the month of April, and I'm pretty sure you guys can attest to this, have been loungewear and robes. I have mine here, guys. This robe, after you have hopped out of your shower or nice, luxurious bath and you've applied your oils and your lotions it's just like silk on your body this robe is just so luxurious and you guys are not going to believe where i purchased said robe but if i haven't said it already everything that i can list below will be listed below in the description box guys i purchased this robe from amazon it is so freaking amazing i love this robe they come um, they offer so many different colors and patterns in this particular robe but i thought this one right here would just be the perfect fit for me it is so cool to the to the skin you know you get out of the shower you dry off and if you like me you really like hot hot showers and so by the time you get finish drying off and putting on lotions you can you might almost need another shower because it's, you just work up a sweat because your body is still hot from the shower but this immediately cools me off i love the fact that this robe is super long depending on how tall you are and guys it has pockets it has pockets it's so 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 nice um I think it was around $22. You just cannot beat that. And so when I have not, you know, when I have no plans to go anywhere and as of late, the only place that I've been going has been UPS and the post office and the grocery store. So between those three places, I have pretty much been home. And so if you were to come over here, if I were to let you in, which I have not been letting anybody in, this is all I've had on this robe or just some lounge wear sometimes even just my pajamas my, my christmas pajamas at that so this has absolutely been a favorite of mine for the month of april and so i just stated that i've only been going to the grocery store to the post office ups we do a car ride but we don't get out and then we're back home however on those occasions where I have to leave the house and go to those places, the shoes that I have really been enjoying wearing, um, A, they're comfortable, and two, they cover my toes because I have, you know, had discussions with you guys about my, you know, lack of technique for polishing my nails, which, however, I must say that I am actually getting better and I think a few days ago I said that I don't know if I'll go back to the nail salon I may just continue doing my nails myself um, however now I have to admit I have to be 100% honest with you I will do my nails a little bit more often than I'll do my toes and because we're walking on our feet a whole lot sometimes my toenail polish will chip a little bit sooner than my polish that I put on my hands and so when I need to run out I don't always want to put on sneakers and I'm definitely not going to put on anything that exposes my toes so the shoes that I have been enjoying wearing here lately have been my Gucci Prince 
town loafers guys get into this color i love this color as you guys know i or you may not know i have just been for the past few maybe six or seven months i've just been going goo goo gaga crazy over the prince town loafers i have several pairs of them and i'm really looking to purchase purchase a few more because like i said they're so practical for me the back of your feet are out you know in the summer times here now in the spring or is it is it summer yet well i think we're really really close to summer you can wear these particular mules and still feel uh like you are dressing for the warmer days because the back is out it is actually a mule and then again like i was saying earlier if you have not been able to get in and get a pedicure you haven't done it yourself you don't have to worry about your feet looking crusty because your toes are actually covered, all right? So just really been loving these. Um, you guys know with my other Princetown loafers, I actually took them in and you know had the soles done so that they could be protected. Well, I haven't been able to get in and do that yet, but they are holding up quite nicely, but I will actually be putting, um, you know, taking them into the cobbler and having the bottoms taken care of. Now on the inside here, you may be wondering what these little things are. Those are just some little footy socks that I keep in here, you know, for my shoes to keep their shape because this leather is so buttery soft. If you just, you know, place them haphazardly without stuffing them, you know, they will start to lose their shape. So what I do is I just take a pair of socks, pair of footy socks that I'm not wearing and kind of stick them in there and that uh, helps them to keep their shape. But yes, my Gucci Bridgetown loafers, and I think this is the brown color. Again, I'll have all of the links and information below, but absolutely been enjoying wearing these for the month of April. Let me say too, um, speaking of socks, one of you left a message on the store, the unpropymommystore.com um, email. I received an email and she said, Tan, I received some socks in my uh, package, my order, and I didn't order any socks. Well, I don't sell socks. Not yet anyway. The socks that I send, and I have a whole bin of them right here, are just my little thank yous to you guys who, you know, when you're purchasing items, um, of course you get the standard little mints I think I put in there as little thank yous. But, you know, sometimes if I see that you are the first, this is your first order, I'll, you know, place some socks in there. Or, you know, just in case, you know, I just, I'm in a mood and I just want to send some, you know, other free little items. I will put um, a pair of socks in your packages as well. So don't be alarmed. If you see some socks in there, it was deliberately placed. They were deliberately placed in there. Now, let me take a second to, since we are talking about orders, all right? This order just came in. I have uh, one of my employees here. You may know him, Eric brought me this order and this may mean nothing to you guys if you're not you know anyway this I'm not sure if you guys can see you can't see that but anyway i want to send a huge thank you out to carol j carol j from warner robin georgia carol girl carol just ordered uh, one two three four five six seven eight shirts all right <laughs> eight shirts in one order she ordered one uh gucci banda one lux lip louis vuitton there's another gucci banda she ordered the street but chic she ordered a ball main well two ball mains. she ordered a keep calm and she ordered a pray and wash your hands carol 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 my dear carol you gotta know you'll be <laughs> getting a few pairs of socks in your order but thanks so much girl i really 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 do appreciate the love and support that you guys continue to give me over in the store um i want to say something that you guys also did not hate for the month of april since we're talking about the store is the faith over fear t-shirt for the month of april i want to say i sold about 114 of those tees by themselves 114 just for the month of april of that 
t-shirt alone. Yes, I sold some of the other tees, but that tee, you guys really, really, really favored. Um, I hope you have enjoyed your purchases. Um, this is actually one of the new tees that you can purchase over in the store as well. You guys know I love mixing my highs and my low end fashions. I just shared with you guys my, you know, my Gucci Prince Town loafers. These shoes I feel are worth the price. This is genuine leather. You're not gonna beat the craftsmanship of these shoes. Um, and so I don't mind spending, you know, a lot of money on my shoes um, I have an Hermes bracelet here and you guys have seen my purses um, but I also like to wear some of the fashions but there's just no way I am going to go and spend you know five hundred dollars on a t-shirt so I love putting my own little spin on some of the designs that may already be out there you guys also love the Lux lip the Louis Vuitton Lux lip t-shirts you guys, I, I can just stop counting the number of those that I've sold, but I just really appreciate those of you who leave the positive feedback regarding the designs and just how you, you know, embrace the way I do fashion. Again, mixing the highs and the lows. And I just cannot thank you guys enough. I cannot wait to see what Eric says. We're, he's not gonna do the shout outs in this particular video, but uh, I mean, this order just came in, so I haven't had time to put it together. But Carol J from uh, one of Robbins, Georgia. Cannot wait to see what Eric says uh, to you regard, regarding your uh, order here. And I just, again, want to thank you, Carol, so, so very much. Again, all of the orders count. All orders count. Um, so just thank you guys so, so very much. And that's going to do it. That brings me to the close of the things that I did not dislike for the month of April. Really appreciate you guys stopping in. I hope we have a more fabulous May than we did April. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.